Stunning new research from local scientists could offer insight into two forms of sudden death. There could be a genetic connection between sudden infant death syndrome and cardiac arrest. The discovery came as researchers from Seattle Children's Hospital and Microsoft AI for Good sequenced genes of 145 infants who died of SIDS. Molly Shin spoke with John Cahan, who helped research or fund the research about the findings. I really appreciate you taking the time to share this story with me. And before we talk about this pretty exciting discovery that you have to share when it comes to SID, sudden infant death syndrome, um, I wanted to have you tell me about your personal connection. Why does this matter to you so much? Oh, uh, it's a good question. Um, roughly 21 years ago, um, I was really blessed. I was having my fourth child, uh, my first son, uh, Aaron Matthew, uh, um, and um, we came to Seattle for the first time. Uh, and Aaron was born in in Overlake Hospital, and unfortunately, he died of SIDS, which is really the unknown. And it was the first, you know, frankly, the most horrific thing that ever happened to my wife and I. And you and your wife, Heather, ended up creating a foundation in Aaron's name, right? Yeah, that's the crazy part about this whole thing. Um, as most human beings, like even though I was the, you know, really running big data, large data science for Microsoft, I wasn't doing any research in this space. I wasn't, I didn't know anything about health research. Um, my data scientist, a guy by the name of Juan Lavis de Ferris, who now runs the function that I was at Microsoft, he's the chief data scientist in charge of AI for good, um, which I'm so proud of him. Um, but he created a miracle, really. Um, uh, you know, I was just raising money for research. And he got together with Seattle Children's, Dr. Nino Ramirez, and he married data science and AI with epidemiology research. And together, um, a miracle happens. All the researchers, not just the two of them, but researchers all over the world came together. And they started realizing if we use AI, we use big data, and we use the powers of medical research, we could solve these problems. And here we are seven years later, and we understand 22% of all SIDS deaths up until last week, where we now understand a little more. That is amazing. Uh, tell me about this latest revelation. The best data in the world would be genetic data. And nobody ever had done a full genome database, a whole genome sequencing, and really understood in depth. And so we built with the first infant genome database ever um, focused in this space. Um, and last week, we got the first real insights out of this, which are absolutely incredible. For the first time ever, we can predict high-risk SIDS children from genomes. You can actually run a sequencing on your child or even pre-birth in theory and understand, hey, this child has a high risk of SIDS. It doesn't mean you're going to capture every SIDS case in the world. Um, and it doesn't mean you can solve it, but it's the beginning of taking preventative action against this. As parents, let me tell you, this is a huge heartwarming thing because SIDS is a horrible thing for parents. Parents always feel like they did something wrong. And guess what? You didn't. Um, in a percentage of cases, it is purely a genetic thing. The second thing was purely by circumstance. I mean, you know, the beauty of science, and I love what Dr. Amir, Nina Romero said, it's kind of like, we got lucky, <laughs> you know, we weren't looking for this. Um, there's a thing uh, in the United States and worldwide called sudden unexplained death of cardiac arrest. It is a much, much larger problem from a standpoint of numbers. But in the United States, roughly 360,000 people a year die of sudden unexplained cardiac arrest, adults primarily, where they just drop dead and they don't know why, they know that it has to do with the heart. The amazing thing is that they tied the same genes that are in children that die of SIDS to adults later on in life. So therefore, by definition, if you actually survive SIDS, which many children will, because we know that uh, for a fact, and you have these genes, then you can take preventative action before you become an adult so that these things don't happen later on in life. So you're talking about a massive finding uh, for something that we weren't out to do. In fact, our mission stays focused on eradicating SIDS once and for all and improving infant mortality. But really, when you really get underneath that, it's really to help improve human mortality. And here we are talking about something that had nothing to do with the research we were doing. And now researchers now can look at that and doctors can look at that and determine, okay, 
um, we've got a, a child or an adult and they are in a high risk situation and we can look at that in advance and we can do that through genetics and then we can take preventative action against it. Do you envision possibly just a, a routine genetic test that every parent, every, every pregnant mom or every newborn baby at some point receives this test to see, is this gene there? Do we have this genetic concern? Absolutely. But these are guesses as a parent, not as a medical professional with the right expertise to do it. And I think it's really important for people to understand, look, I'm just a father that cares. Since Aaron died, which is roughly 21 years ago, roughly 60,000 children in the United States died. You know, I, it's funny, I've told this story about a hundred times, maybe a thousand times, and I get choked up every time I tell this story. That's 60,000 times that a parent or a grandparent was told, sorry, we don't know what happened to your child. It's unacceptable. And if we not only know now and we can do something about it, we need to do something about it. And we will. It really is incredible. And, and what a turning point where it feels like there's a big advancement coming and lives saved. All I can tell you is it feels like we're making a lot of progress. So thank you from the bottom of my heart to you and to all your listeners. Um, all you have to do is go to www.givetostopsids.org. You can learn more.